Hi guys, Rob 46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP20 on the Xbox One X. Let's continue with wrapping up historic mode. We're going to do another difficult challenge. Uh, okay, so we're using the two strokes around Valencia. Who shall we use? Um, we've only got three more to unlock. I'll tell you what, shall we use Kevin Schwantz for this one from 1995? So Valencia... Let's go do it. Soft front, medium rear. See what we can do. Here we go. Come on. Tell you what, if we win this race, we might we might be able to unlock two of the ultra rare riders. We might have enough for two. So that's definitely worth doing if we can. This is going to take uh, a bit of a while to try and get into the lead. I think this is... I mean, the, the four strokes are... Um, they're pretty difficult on the difficult challenge. So, I don't really think I've done any difficult challenges with the two strokes before. I mean, we're in third, so at least we're going to get some diamonds if we finish in third. But I would like to get first so that we can unlock two riders instead of one. Okay. So still behind Arbe. Oh, sorry, Arbe. Took the opportunity and forced my way through. So we are up to second place. Just behind Eddie Lawson. As we come through the penultimate corner, the long turn 13, down to turn 14. Try and slipstream Lawson. Not a lot is happening at the moment. Yeah, on the brakes. Oh, we didn't pick up a penalty then for going on the uh, the painted section. Usually you pick up a bit of a penalty if you go onto there under braking, but uh, we're okay. Got him way too hot into turn two. Can I find a way past Lawson? We've got a while to go, so it's fine. It's fine. It's not my strongest track, this one. I don't particularly like Valencia. If you've been with the channel for a long time, you already know that. Oh! Okay, well... I was closer than I thought I was. Okay... Well, we're as close as we've been so far, but the thing is, oh, nearly done what we've done to our bait. But, uh, yeah, we can't let him escape, otherwise I think we would struggle. But luckily he's not getting away. We are able to keep him honest. Up the inside, and we're through. Oh, he's down! He's down, he went back into me and hit the rear tyre. Oh dear. I mean, I'm pretty sure that wasn't my fault. I mean, I'll check the replay afterwards, but uh, I'd already got past him and then he kind of just moved back over onto my rear wheel. And down he went. Took his own front wheel away from him, but... Uh... Okay, well that makes my life a little bit easier. I mean, that's a bit like, not exactly the same as what happened at Laguna Seca at the last difficult challenge I'd done, with uh, using Dovey and Stoner crashing into the uh, corkscrew, but it's, uh, you know, similar sort of thing. Stoner lost the front into the, the corkscrew and went down and hit my bike, and uh, Lawson, unfortunately, weave back over onto uh, the line that he wanted to be on that, but I was on it and his front front wheel hit my rear wheel and down he went unfortunately so we've got 1.7 second lead over RB coming 
coming to the end of lap three. Oh. Thing is, with these 500s, I know that I can crash at literally any minute. So uh, we're not going to be out of the woods until we cross the finish line. Just going to have to keep up the pace and hope that it's going to be enough. I mean, our gap is going up. Gap at the moment is 2.2 seconds, which is a nice little gap. If we can maintain that or even keep increasing that, then we are definitely going to be on our way to winning this race and potentially unlocking two more riders. And we haven't got many left to get at all. Wayne Gardner's down. Right, let's, let's do this one. Come on, we can do this. Don't mess up. Don't do something stupid. Oh, a little twitch there. Okay, gap is... 2.9, so the gap's still going up, which is good. I'm happy with that. That's definitely going to help me out. Down towards the final corner again. And we're going to start lap number five. The rear is starting to move around more, especially on the left-hand side. That's the side that is wearing out the quickest. Hopefully we will be okay, but uh, I mean the gap's still going up. That's the main thing. I don't like it when it does stuff like that. Eddie Lawson is making his way back through the pack. We're trying to. He's in sixth at the moment. Fuel is going to be absolutely fine. I only filled it to the line where it needed to go. Lawson's up to fourth now. So Lawson is making up for lost time. He might be able to get back into second place. He's got a bit of a gap to try and close in. Crivier is down. So Alex Crivier is down on the ground. Right, so we're getting towards the end of lap five. Four and a half second lead we've got over Arbe. That is a nice healthy lead. Although KRJR has just moved into second. Gary McCoy has gone down. Rossi's up to sixth. So, on to lap six of nine. 4.9 seconds is our lead. That is good. We are over halfway through this race. Lawson's back up to third. We will keep an eye on him. But yeah, my rear tyre is starting to let go and doing mistakes like that is not helping the situation. Having to be a bit more gentle with the throttle now just to stop the rear from going A while. Arbe is down. Norik Arbe, he was in, well, third, fourth position he was fighting for. Unfortunately, he's gone down. Trying to step out. Okay, so 4.2. The gap's come down, but we have made a couple of mistakes on this lap. There's still quite a big chunk to lose 0.7 of a second. We'll see what it is over the line. Okay, we've got three laps to go. I 
past the gap. 3.9. The gap's coming down. The gap is coming down. Are we going to be in trouble? I don't know. I can't slow down too much. Trouble is the grip is getting less and less on the left hand side of the rear tyre. Three and a half seconds. Yeah, they're catching me. Kenny Roberts Jr. and uh, Eddie Lawson are both catching me. Have we got enough of a gap though to take the win or are they going to get me at the, uh, the final lap or even the next lap? It depends how quickly they can bring that gap down. As it stands, the gap is 3.3. So it's not come down a huge amount there, only about 0.2 of a second. But it is still coming down, which is the uh, important thing. Come on, we can do this, surely. Three seconds, that gap is coming down now. Two laps to go. Can I hold on? Can we make that three second gap last? I don't know. If it keeps coming down in big chunks and we could end up losing it. See what it is over the line. 2.9. Oh dear. Come on, Swans. We can do this. We've just got to get through this lap and one more. Just hold on to the lead. Come on. Rear tie, just stay with me. 2.8. It's only come down a tenth of a second in the first sector, but it's still coming down. I don't want to lose it on the final lap. Yeah. I think we might might just get away with it. 2.5. Kaczynski's down. So two and a half second lead. How quickly can they erode that? It looks like it's come down already. 2.1. Oh dear, we've got one lap to go and uh, just over a two second lead, which will probably be less than two seconds over the line. They might just do this. Oh, especially with the rear making weird motions like that into corners. Right, what's it going to be over the line? Please still be over two seconds. Please, please, please. I think it is. Arbe's down again. It's 2.2. This is a final lap. We've just got to hold on for this final lap. Surely we can do that. Don't high side yourself. The gap. What is the gap? 2.3. So the gap's gone up a tenth in the first sector. That's positive. That may just help me out enough. Let's right, see what the next split says. Is it still over two seconds? Yeah, 2.2. Okay. The gap has kind of stabilised around that kind of time. We've only got a few corners to go. Come on. Oh, don't you dare. Not now. Not now. They are there. Two seconds. We've only got two corners to go, so surely we can't lose two seconds in that time. We won't. Not unless I go down at the final corner, but don't worry, we won't. Gone in too hot, though. We are going to win. We are going to win at Valencia. A difficult challenge with the 502 strokes. Lawson got back into second place. McWilliams had the fastest time. Quite a few DNFs. Right, this is the incident between myself and Lawson. 
will this show show at a good angle? So I went for the inside and through. Oh yeah, that, that that doesn't really show at that angle. Right, this angle shows it better. So pass we come, and then he'll just watch him go straight back into my rear tire, and down he goes. So time to collect our winnings. Fifteen thousand. So we've got twenty-six and a half thousand. So we can indeed buy two riders. So we'll start with Casey Stoner, and I believe that's the last of the four-stroke riders. And let's get Rossi from 2001. And uh, yeah, that's going to leave me with uh, 200. So we just need 13 more thousand to unlock Doohan. And then we've just got one more rider to unlock after that, which I think is Swans again. But obviously a different uh, different year. So just to confirm, yes, we have unlocked all the riders for the uh, four strokes. So that is good. Obviously, we've already unlocked all the teams. But yeah, we've now unlocked all the riders. Okay. And then the 502 strokes. It's just... Um, yeah, doing and Swans from 1993. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll just see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe and wash your hands. See you.